back to art on a budget. I have a painting here by Martin Johnson Heed that he did in 1859 entitled Storm Clouds on the Coast. I thought we would use this picture for inspiration. And the palette we'll be using is titanium white, light yellow, yellow ochre, raw sienna, phthalo blue, phthalo green, ivory black. The composition uh, we have basically, he has cut this in half, so it's about even, uh, the horizon line is just about even here. We have contrast, uh, sharp contrast here between the dark clouds and the light clouds, between the black sea and the white caps on the waves, the light beach areas and the dark beach areas. We have um, the tree coming up and looking as if it's touching the clouds here. So I think this draws our eye into this light color area. Uh, so I believe this light color area here is our focal point. And from there we're drawn to the wave, the caps of the wave. And then our eye moves uh, around the uh, picture here. It is a very dramatic painting because of the uh, contrast between the lights and the darks and the black sea looks really ominous. So this painting is a beautiful painting and uh, I would like to give it a try to do some of those same things that he has done in our painting. I'm going to begin by blotting in the lights and darks. I'm not going to use the lightest light or the darkest darks. Um, this is just to kind of keep track of where we're at. So this is um, the sky area here, part of the sky area, the lightest part of the sky area and we're going to come back in and make clouds in here and then we have a lighter part here looks like and this color that I've mixed together uh, is got a touch of red in it I know I didn't include that on our uh, original palette but um, as I began to think about it, I thought, you know, we should put just a touch of red in there to make use of our complementary uh, colors. And so we've got yellow, the cadmium yellow, and our light yellow, and the ochre yellow, white, and the, the touch of red. And the uh, beach area is here at the bottom, and I made uh, the same colors, but just slightly darker. And we're just blocking things in right now. I continue to work on this um, and place the <clears throat> lighter values uh, against the darker values just so that we could find our place. So the um, darker values have the thalo green, thalo blue, a little bit of the black in there. Um, this sand um, D Hill here uh, has the same colors that I put in here, which were the uh, ochre yellow, the light yellow, a touch of red, and white, uh, and I've added black to it in varying amounts uh, just as place markers. I also noticed that as I looked at the picture closer, he actually has mountains in the background. 
Uh, he might have added those for visual interest. Um, so, you know, why don't we do that as well? So I just marked out uh, this area here. I'm going to begin um, to so make some clouds here, and I have the worn and also filbert it helps brush give us a sense with just a bit of this uh, because we can see color that, that I had previously mixed up uh, with the when yellows, a touch of red and white. And uh, I added more white uh, into it, so it's a lighter uh, composition. And I'm just teasing uh, out some clouds here with just a little bit of paint on the end of this. And then I will come back and add the lightest uh, color um, to bring out the highlights. And it looks like from the picture that he has some big thunderheads here. That's what we're seeing, the big thunderhead clouds is what my family used to call them. When you saw these, you knew that there was a storm coming. I'm going to blend in some of the darker color now, just gently working it in to some areas. I've worked green, black, and blue in together and some white, and we're going to work on the... Now I have some of the lightest of color clouds. with the uh, white Lighter here that I'm going to work in color of the darker mixture. Okay, let's come in with the same brush and the same color, but we're going to have more black in this um, mixture. And we're going to just feather this just lightly touching areas. We want some of the lighter colors to show through, and we want to mix a little bit with so you want to go some back of the and forth, lighter alternating colors in between other areas, blending the edge where the darker and the lighter areas meet. So it's more of a gradual transition. And over here is where our tree is going to be. We're going to see.
Okay, I'm going to get that second color. Actually, I think that's a little too strong, so I'm going to mix uh, some of the uh, base color in there to get it a little lighter. Okay, let's come back with the lightest light that we have. We're going to use this sparingly. So we see that we have all of our dark clouds over here, and we're going to go back and um, adjust that too in a minute. But it's darker over here, it's lighter over here. Um, we're going to say that um, the light is coming from above uh, and so it's catching some of these clouds uh, you know just the edges of some of these clouds I also worked on this some, and uh, I used the same principle, but a slightly darker palette so that this would look like it was in the background. And um, with this being the lighter colors, um, 
then the, this moves forward. So this is more muted uh, grays, and so uh, it recedes in the background. I've mixed together some of the thalo green, thalo blue, um, a touch of black, and some white in there on the side of a fan brush. And I'm coming in and making uh, finger-like uh, projections, projections into our cloud. Let's come in to the back cloud. And so I've used that lightest light, but then I've added some of that yellowish base color to it so it's not as light as the front is here. taken that same color and added some black to it. Okay, I'm going to just work in light and dark values over here. Okay, I decided to go ahead and um, bring that cloud 
um, the length of the canvas and just make it more wispy in this area. And then we're going to put the mountains in front of it. And so for the mountain mixture, I have um, red, yellow, touch of green, and white. And since this is in the background, oh, I put tape there as well to give me a level horizon to paint on. Okay, I'm going to use this as a blending brush. It's a round um, And then I have brush. a lighter mixture, uh, uh, which is that same color, but I just added uh, edges, a little more uh, white to paint it. here, uh, where I came into this white cloud with the darker color. Let's make some waves in the distance. They're very sedated looking waves, just uh, not much going on there. I've taken the dark color that we mixed together and I added white to it. So we're just going to take the fan brush and put some waves in there. Then I'll come back, because I'm being kind of careless here. Um, we'll come back with the darker brush and take out some of this. I'm going to use that same uh, rocking motion with my brush back and forth. Okay, and then we have the large wave here. Okay, and I put, put the tape back on, wave. but this time it's for the yeah. water line. So we're going to put our horizon here. And in the picture, uh, it's a black sea. I've mixed together phthalo green, phthalo green blue, too. and black together. And this so we're going to just start lake. setting that line.
Okay, I put the lighter value of the green, blue, black with white in there and then the darker value under that and here is our wave and I'm going to come back with just white by itself and this is the heavy body acrylic and I am going to make this more pronounced. Okay, I'm going to put a gray-green shadow here. I've taken that greenish color and I've added a little white to it and a touch of red. Um, red, as you know, is a complementary color of green and when you mix them together, it makes a good shadow. So I have a fan brush. I'm going to go over the top of this wave with a white and the darker mixture, just a touch of it, mainly just white in here. I made a few adjustments here. Um, my cloud in the background here looked a little bit like a flying potato. Uh, so I, of course, I wanted to change that. I went back to look at uh, what our inspirational painting uh, had done, and he did something very clever. He uh, used his cloud uh, like a finger uh, pointing down to the wave so that it would take your line of vision to the next place he wanted you to go in the painting, which was the wave. And um, so I did that. I also um, 
worked in the lighter and darker values because on the dark side it had become too dark and you really couldn't see uh, the cloud workings. I wiped off the so areas. So I went in and reworked the clouds, that area. Um, that and, had um, more of the green I used wash on it just than I wanted. The tapping of the filbert that's frayed uh, to bring in the white uh, or lighter, I should say, uh, highlights here. And I also uh, brought in the green, blue, and black of the background. And so we want it to be lighter toward this very light cloud here and darker as it moves away from that. Okay, I've applied the tape again here at the horizon line. And I've made a very thin solution of blue, green, and yellow. These are all translucent colors, so you can see through them. We're doing a glaze. I added two tablespoons of water that had the glycerin in it. And then I added a couple more drops of glycerin to our solution in addition to that. So I'm going to go over this area very lightly with crisscross strokes uh, because it has become too... Uh, bright, brighter than I intended, so I'm going to tone it down. And then I'm going to take a paper towel uh, to absorb any of the excess. This is going to make it look further off into the distance and not so close up. And it will also make this look more like a storm. Have you seen those gray green clouds? I've mixed together a light spring green. I made our sand hill here a little taller. So let's add some tree trees. And we'll start with the lines. I finished the painting up. Um, I worked in the clouds over here just to add, create more balance in the picture the lighter color clouds, and then I um, moved to the greener blue um, colors with the uh, darker uh, base um, on the clouds. I uh, brought in some lighter touches in here, um, just once again trying to have more balance. I work the sand area incorporating uh, a little more 
reds and greens in here. I uh, made some furrows in the sand hill and um, just worked that up a little bit more uh, and bringing it down into the sand line. I added a touch of just pure white titanium white uh, heavy body right at the crest of the wave and I added my signature this doesn't really look like um, our inspirational picture but uh, it did uh, inspire me to paint and I am happy with the outcome and I hope you are too thank you for watching have a good day